Hey guys, it's Alora. Long time no see. I know that you probably just watched my Rainbow TBR bookshelf tour, so it doesn't seem like long time no see, but I haven't actually filmed since February, which is crazy. So I'm here, my semester is done, and I'm going to share with you a huge spring book haul. I have a lot of books to share with you that I've purchased since last we spoke. So today's book haul includes 15 books, some of which I purchased from Book Outlet, some of which I purchased from my local bookstore, and a couple that I have ARCs of. So let's start with the ones that I purchased from my bookstore. And the first one here is called Surprise, Embrace the Unpredictable and Engineer the Unexpected. This book is by Tanya Luna and Leanne Renninger. So about a month ago, I was flipping through my Psychology Today magazine. I don't know if you guys know this, but I am a developmental psychology major. And I came across this article about Tanya Luna, who is one of the authors of this book, and she owns a company called Surprise Inc. And basically, the point of this company is to surprise yourself and others with these fun activities that you would never think of to do on your own. And then the other author is a research psychologist, so both of them are highly qualified to write this book. I have read it, and I will be talking about it in my bi-monthly wrap-up, apparently bi-monthly <laughs> nowadays. Next, in anticipation of the release of Air, which is the fourth selection book, but, but it's really sort of like a spin-off series. Anyway, I decided to pick up the selection stories, The Prince and the Guard, which are the two novellas that Kira Cass has out. It looks like one is from Aspen's point of view and one is from Prince Maxon, so we'll see. I haven't read this one yet, but hopefully it'll be fun. Keeping with the theme of novellas, I have here The Assassin's Blade, and I did order this when it came out on the 3rd of March, I believe. I think it was 3-3-15, which was fun. I haven't read it yet, but I am looking forward to it. I am still slogging my way through the third one. So once I finish the third one, maybe I will be able to get to these novellas someday. <laughs> Next, we have Breathe Annie Breathe by Miranda Keneally. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Sorry, Miranda. And this book looks really cheesy to me. It isn't something that I would have thought to purchase on my own. However, this book was recommended to me. And so it's about this high school girl whose boyfriend dies and how she basically picks up marathon training as her way to connect to him after he dies because he was a runner. And so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna like this. I've heard that it's really good. It looks really cheesy, so we will see. Okay, so now I have a couple of ARCs to share with you guys. The first one is called The Sacred Lies of Minnow Bly, and this one comes out in June. So it's coming out here soon. And this is about a girl who was raised in a cult and her getting out of that cult. So that sounds kind of interesting. Anyway, so I guess this 17-year-old girl has been really hurt by the cult, like physically deformed, and she knows secrets, and it's a little bit of a mystery because the cult went up in flames, and all of this good stuff. So, so we got a little mystery going on. We'll see how that pans out. Next up, we have The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Aldi, and this is a Scheherazade spin-off story, I believe. So I'm really looking forward to this one. I think it already came out, or it's coming out on the 12th. I guess it depends when this video goes up, either the 5th or the 12th. Books come out on Tuesday, by the way, if you guys hadn't noticed. It's sort of like movies. Have you ever picked up on the fact that movie releases on DVD come out on Tuesdays? It's the same thing for books. So either the 5th or the 12th, this next one I'm actually really excited about because I was looking forward to it, and that is The Invasion of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. Last year, I believe it was August, I read The Queen of the Tearling, which is the first book in the series, and I was pleasantly surprised by it. I had thought that it was going to be a standalone because it said a novel on the front of the book, but apparently not. This one says it too, it says a novel. And so when I got to the end of the book last year, I was really disappointed because I realized that it wasn't the end of the story. Even though I liked the story, I still wanted a standalone fantasy and that's not what it turned out to be. But I'm looking forward to this one, continuing on with the story. I really did like Kelsey Raleigh, the main character, and so we'll see where her adventure takes her in this second installment. 
Ooh, ooh, another one that I was actually really looking forward to, and that is The Heart of Betrayal, which is the second book in the Remnants Chronicles series. Now, I read the first one, which was Kiss of Deception, November, sometime like that. It was, it was in the winter, and I had enjoyed it, and I wanted to continue on with the series to see what happened to the characters, so I'm excited about this one. It comes out in July, if you're curious, and I will hopefully be reviewing it. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things with booktube since it's now summer vacation, so we'll see what happens with that. But the next book that I have to show you comes out in June, and it's called Fat Girl Walking, Sex, Food, Love, and Being Comfortable in Your Own Skin, Every Inch of It. And this is by Brittany Gibbons, who is this internet personality slash model slash positive body image person. So she's really funny and I'm hoping that her book is really funny. I started reading it a couple pages, just a couple pages, when I was sitting in line at the bank actually. You know how you can drive up to the bank and I was sitting in line waiting for that reading this book. But I'm looking forward to it. It looks like it'll be really good. I always love body positive type books and people who promote self-love. So hopefully this book is as good as I expect it to be. The last ARC that I have to show you is kind of out of the ordinary for me, and it's called The Good Shoe Fu, Finding Love, Self, and Home on the Far Side of the World by Tracy Slater. And this follows a woman who goes to Japan, I believe it is. Yes, it's Japan. And ends up a housewife. And she didn't plan for that. She ends up a Japanese housewife. And so this looks really cool. I'm always interested in different cultures and learning about the way other people live, and so I think this will be a perfect pick for that. The last section of this book haul are books that I purchased from Book Outlet, and this was my first Book Outlet order ever, and I was really pretty pleased with it. Book Outlet does this thing where they put this little mark on the book and they either put it on the bottom or on the top, and I'm fine with it when it's on the bottom. I don't mind at all because I'm just gonna set it on a shelf and nobody's gonna notice, but when it's put on the top, which there are marks on the tops of some of these books. It really, really annoys me. That's just my initial reaction from Book Outlet, but otherwise the books were in great condition and everything was copacetic. So the first one that I want to show you is Ugly Love. You probably saw me waving it around there when I was talking about the marks, but this is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I have read one other Colleen Hoover book in the past, and that was Maybe Someday, and I really disliked it. I was bored by it. I didn't really like the characters. I ranted about it in one of my wrap-ups um, late summer last year, but I decided that I wanted to give her another shot because everybody calls her the queen of new adult romance and I wanted to read some new adult romance so I picked up Ugly Love since that was one of her newer ones. Now she has confessed but I picked this one up a few months ago and I have read it already and I will be talking about it in my March-April wrap-up which is coming to you here in the next couple of days. I'm actually probably going to film it today, so I'll get it up here really soon. Next we have a larger book, and that is What Do You Want to Do Before You Die by The Buried Life, which includes these four young men who are very handsome, but not very good at writing books. At least that was my opinion. Um, I did read it. This is interesting. What it is is sort of a photo journal diary of a bunch of things that people... Is it upside down? No. People want to do in their life before they die. And there are a couple little stories in here about their own lives, which were interesting. You know, I liked reading about it, but overall this book was really short and I wasn't really a huge fan of it. My next treasure from Book Outlet was The Book of Broken Hearts by Sarah Ockler. I haven't read any other Sarah Ockler books yet, but I own another one, Fixing Delilah, and I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I've heard nothing but good things about it other than the fact that it's kind of a cheesy contemporary romance, but hey, that doesn't put me off. Who would we be kidding if we said that it did? So I'm really excited about this one. I can't really tell you much about this book because I don't know much about it and I don't want to spoil myself. Sometimes I like just going into books and not knowing much about them at all. Now that it's summer, I can shamelessly sit on the deck in the sunshine and read contemporary romance books. Next up we have a book that everyone was raving about last summer and I didn't pick up until just recently and that is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. I haven't read any Morgan Matson books but I guess she writes a killer road trip summer adventure type story and I'm really excited about reading this one. 
This book's premise is that there are two girls who are best friends and one of them is very adventurous and one of them is kind of quiet and shy and the adventurous one goes missing, which reminds me of Paper Towns by John Green. If you haven't read it, definitely read it before you watch the movie, guys. Anyway, when the adventurous best friend goes missing, the shy best friend gets a letter or a list or something with all of these things that she's supposed to do during the summer while her friend is gone. And it's sort of a story of her stepping out of her comfort zone. So it sounds really good. Everyone says it's really good. I have high expectations, which isn't really good going into a book. You should not have high expectations. Sometimes it ruins it. But I'm hopeful that it will live up to my expectations. So I'll let you know once I read it. This next book I'm really excited about. And you probably wouldn't think that I would be excited about it, but I am. And that is Vision in White by Nora Roberts. I have not read any Nora Roberts books and I realized that she's a cheesy romance author but I really wanted to read the series because there are four and it's called the Bride Quartet so there are four books in this series and each one follows a different person who is associated with weddings so I think that this first one is about a wedding planner which makes me endlessly excited because when I was younger, even just a few years ago, I was considering going into wedding planning. I mean, I was seriously considering wanting to be a wedding planner. And you never know, maybe I'll still do that at some point during my life, but I'm excited to read this book to see behind the scenes of some weddings and just, you know, enjoy all of the drama and all of the beauty and all of the sparkles that come along with weddings. Okay, we are down to the last book that I have to haul for you today, and it's maybe the one that I'm most excited about, actually, which is silly because I got it a few months ago and haven't read it yet, but I really am looking forward to reading it. I just, I'm almost a little bit scared because everyone says that it is amazing, and so I don't want to be let down, like I was saying with Since You've Been Gone, but I should just get over it and read it, right? And the book is The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. So this is the first book in the Chaos Walking trilogy by Patrick Ness. From what I've heard, in this book, the main character and all of the characters can hear each other's thoughts. Beyond that, I don't really know anything about this book. A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness was probably my favorite book that I have read in the last year. Actually, not probably. Hands down, it is the best book that I've read in the last year. It might even be the best book I've ever read. It was so incredibly emotional and it had a huge impact on me. So I'm a little bit tentative to read his other works, if you know what I mean. Okay guys, so that was my spring book haul for you. I purchased quite a few books. Probably wasn't a good thing. Oh, oh wait, I'm not done. Hold on, let me go get something else. Okay, I made it back with this last thing. It's not really a book, but it's sort of a book, and it is Enchanted Forest, an inky quest, and coloring book. So this is an adult coloring book, not adult, like, mature content, but it's supposed to be for adults to draw in. Oh my goodness, so this has been on back order for quite a while, and I've been waiting for it, and it just came in the mail. It is this beautiful coloring book with these absolutely gorgeous illustrations by this artist who designs things for Starbucks, and she just does ink pen and ink drawings, and it's gorgeous, so I wanted to share that with you really quickly. Anyway, so now I'm done. Thank you guys for watching this pretty large book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely check out my Rainbow TBR shelf tour if you haven't already, because I share with you all of the books that I own that I have yet to read, which is a lot of books, and it's kind of embarrassing, but it's fun. I filmed it in February, just so you know, and didn't put it up until, you know, just a few days ago. Oops. Anyway, that's all for me today, so I'm gonna go now. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay happy, stay healthy. Bye, guys.